and Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we are discussing the Rolex Cellini Reference 5240 Cellinium. You can see this platinum manual wind Rolex dress watch with mother of pearl dial on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. Please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this dress oriented Rolex with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images, and naturally, complete pricing details for this extraordinary Rolex Cellini Cellinium. Now, if you're thinking about picking up a extra flat, traditionally proportioned dress watch from Geneva, you may think Patek Philippe, or you may saunter across town to Vacheron Constantin, but chances are your first thought even your second, and maybe even your third, doesn't turn to Rolex. But the Crown brand actually has an illustrious history of building dress watches, and this uncommon manual wind mechanical mother of pearl dial timepiece is a compelling statement from the brand best known for Submariners and GMTs. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that this watch makes the most of its 35 millimeter diameter. It has a large presence. Now that's 35 millimeter from nine to three, not inclusive of the crown. Visually, the watch carries more massive punch because of the broad bezel and the thick lugs. From lug to lug, it's quite compact, 38 millimeters across the wrist. You can wear this watch with security, style, and proportion on a wrist, in my estimation, as small as 13 centimeters in circumference. It's an excellent unisex option, and I stress that this is not a lady's watch. Now, 35 millimeters across the case, 38 from lug to lug, it is ultra thin at 8.5 millimeters thick. That's the benefit of the manually wound caliber 1240 inside. Now, because the watch is platinum, because the lugs are fairly massive, and because in Rolex fashion, it does feature a solid case back. The watch has surprising heft for its size. It's compelling, it's compact, and in every sense, eyes open or closed, you realize you're wearing something special. Now the strap, like the watch, is very thin. Black rectangular scale alligator leather, folded sides, monotone stitch, and how rarely do we see this, a platinum pin buckle on a Rolex timepiece. Now the dial may be the star of the watch. As you can see, the hour track features the recurring Rolex print motif, most commonly associated with the so-called Jubilee dials. The hour track consists entirely of applied white gold indices, Arabic numerals, and the five-point Rolex coronet at 12 o'clock, which is counterbalanced by a sub-seconds with metallic seconds track at six o'clock. Note the paucity of script and graphics on this dial. This is perhaps the only Rolex I've seen made in the last 20 years that doesn't contain the equivalent of an encyclopedia of branding on the dial face. It's exceptionally elegant and handsome. The bezel, again, lends the watch an air of majesty and size that belies its actual proportions. Now, inside, there is a 17-joule Rolex manual wind, caliber 1240. It beats away at 3 hertz, or 21,600 vibrations per hour, and has approximately a 56-hour power reserve. This is an uncommon combination of ultra-thin sizing, dress watch aesthetics, and Rolex panache. This is a watch with impeccable pedigree, and yet despite being discreetly sized and dress oriented, it hails from a most unexpected source. Nevertheless, it stands toe to toe with the best from Vacheron, Patek, Jezre Le Coult, and Audemars Piguet. You can see and you can purchase this unusual platinum manual wind Rolex Cellini Cellinium, reference 5240 on our website.